Well, Mark Selby managed to halt the O'Sullivan charge by winning that fourth frame. A poor combination of Ronnie has done well in UK based events. I know he won in Shanghai a couple of times. Generally in UK based events where Mark Selby has struggled. Mark Selby has won a lot of events in Asia. Ronnie rarely goes to the Asia just for the Shanghai. That's okay. Better than okay. It's a good follow up. In the second frame, he left a red in this over this left corner, which cost him the frame. It's not quite as near the pocket this time. One. Plenty of a nice area there. Four. Plenty of options get on before too long Five. and that opens quite a lot up Ten. Eleven. Eighteen. Playing that well over the ball. 90. Now we move that red above it, I think. Could be away now. Three reds all look like they go to the to left six. middle if he needs. I think the bottom one in the five, bunch of five, also pots to the bottom right pocket. Thirty-four. The five. Forty-two. Forty-three. Well, that was pretty obvious. A couple of balls were available to that uh, left middle. He's shaking of his head, though, uh, Sullivan. Just so highly focused though, isn't he? Still breeze through the early rounds. But now he's playing. Just excellent match snooker. 56. 57. 64. Red and a colour needed. 65. That was strange rules, Dave pointed out. Question of whether he's going to go on and make another century here now. 73. 78. <laughs> 79. Well, he could well be on now for this third century. 87. Ooh. Well, that's amazing. And he's and really annoyed. He wanted another ton there. And the frame. Black has stayed out on 87. But he's won in the frame, and he's put Ronnie O'Sullivan back in front here in Belfast. It's a measure of how great he is, though, that he's annoyed there, that he missed the black, but he still leads Mark Selby 3-2. This point is not quite at that stage.
Well, it's a difficult shot to get the keyboard back there, and he's done it, but now this table is very dangerous. Well, he's left something to the right middle. And if he does play this red, he's got to play it 100%. Not even think about the possibility of missing it. Well, he can get his key to the bottom of the ball, so he's playing the safety shot here. But again, he hasn't found the cushion. And he stuck the red that he refused himself. Now, this is a very significant moment if he knocks this in. Well, there you have it. Well, that, in a nutshell, tells you the difference right now between the two players and their mindset. Because actually, I think Ronnie's was a little more difficult than the one that Mark refused. Six. Seven. Look at these reds. This really is, I was going to say a gift, but it's not really, because he made it happen. Twelve. Thirteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Keep it simple. Don't try anything too fancy. The reds are all in the open. Just keep potting balls. Eventually, the winning line in the frame will come. Twenty-eight. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five, forty. 41. 46. That's been hard work. 47. Because of all the bolt colours he's knocked in in this break, but... 52. He's arriving at the point where the frame is just about his. Two more reds. 53. Well, now that he's played on the black, he doesn't need two more reds. It's his frame ball. It's been a hard break, although he was in with a great chance when he came to Six. the table. You look at all the lower value colours he's taken. Sixty-one. Sixty-five. But he felt that in some ways, as Sullivan was, I thought, a tiny bit more difficult. He had the equal safety shot available to him as well. But he's in attacking mode, all right, and he's been like that all week. Seven. Well, he was annoyed that he didn't make the century in the last frame. Seventy-one. Has a chance to make one here. Yes, he's made a total clearance here. Be one of the lowest I've seen. There's another magical shot. Look at that. 77. 78. Make a break of 112. Total clearance. 85. It's been, a, it's been chipping away. At those reds at the other end of the table all the way through. 87. 90. Ninety-four. So he earned the chance. Ninety-nine. With the red he took on, his third century of the afternoon. <laughs> Next frame is massive for Mark Selby. Can't afford to go 5-2 down with O'Sullivan in this sort of mood. 
It's a total clearance of 112 from Ronnie O'Sullivan for the first time. He's two frames clear in this semi-final. Strange thing about that last frame was that the first pot almost felt like frame ball. The way the reds were, you just expected either one of them to make the big break, and it was O'Sullivan who knocked the red in. It's a good long pot, and not the worst kiss. Some discussion on Twitter about the, the total clearance, 112. Is it one of the lowest ever? Because obviously he's taken a lot of low-value colours. Chris Downer, the redoubtable statistician, has not seen a lower one. Three. Four. Ten. Eleven. So... Attempt to nip the cue ball into the bunch here. Well, it's okay. You know, the red. 18. Hmm. I must confess, I thought he was on that red at first. He's on a more difficult one that you can see. The left hand red goes to the right corner. That's not the sort of shot you want, especially with the red up there. Unless you can stop, stop it with a little screw shot. This becomes more difficult the more you look at it. That's a really good shot. 19. Well, he's not got the same... 26. ...control of the cue ball right now as a Sullivan, but as I say, who, who has, really? When he's on form, nobody can match him in that department. He's going to have to keep pulling out shots. Which he's doing very well. 27. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. The shot to get into the bunch from the brown is on. It's quite a big target as well. Well, he'll settle for that. He didn't hit the bunch flush. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. This is turning into a, a terrific game of snooker. 46. It always had that look about it, massive anticipation. Sometimes matches don't live up to it, but this one is absolutely top class. 47. 54. He was always heading to that jaw, he wasn't sure. He smiles as well he might as the red drops. Sixty-two. Another red and a black and a Sullivan would require a snooker. This is a quality contribution from Selby, it really is, bearing in mind what he's been hit with this afternoon. Yes, and the applause is because that was the ball. Seventh. Well, it started with a, a good long pot, being maybe more aggressive. Yeah, I have to take chances. I'm not going to win waiting for them to come. To go out and find them. 78. Well, the red stays out, so the break ends at Mark 78, Selby, 78, but he's done enough to pull one back. An important frame, I think, for Mark Selby. Well, he missed it on the thin side by so far that nothing in that shot that was meant to work did work. 1. 
It's a nice touch. He was coming in towards that black. Well, it's no good after all that. Eight. Arnell Sullivan. Eight. Double kiss. Not good for Selby. That was a seriously full ball. Double kiss, wasn't it? It wasn't even a glance. So he's been in for the second time in this what? frame, O'Sullivan. Eight. Ten years ago, Nine. in this very venue, he won the Northern Ireland Trophy. That was a ranking event that was held for a few years, a decade ago. Sixty. Played that particularly well as Kewan was Seventy. awkward in a longish bridge over a ball. Twenty four. Twenty five. Well it's it's a well played split, but for once his next red is not easy. It looks like he's got to play a cut back red. To the right corner if he's going to keep this break alive. Well, he's come around the back of the yellow as well. Yeah, we just haven't seen the unforced errors from O'Sullivan. Things have gone wrong, they will do in this game, but... He's uh, so in control of every facet of his game right now. And, of course, of himself, which is important, too. 36. So, edging closer to 5-3 lead. 37. Mox Elby's made comebacks, many of them, including against this man. 43. Not much of an angle here. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty-three. Red and the black, or red and the pink, should be enough. I just wonder if those two reds are a plant to the left middle. I think at least have a look at them, which he's doing. And if that's a plant, it means he's got nothing to do on the black. And it's top jaw, but I think he could make it into one if he wanted. It's handy for O'Sullivan that that is there. Just it means that that ball was quite a simple one. 61. And now he has a chance to make a fourth century in this match. And let's not forget, he broke down an 87 as well in the fifth frame. 69. So it's not a century, but it's a good break of 69. Well, Mark Selby stays rooted to his seat. He's got problems here. O'Sullivan is on the brink of a place in tomorrow's final, just playing so well and leading Mark Selby by five frames to three. Wonderful touch from O'Sullivan. It's very, very close to the pink on the way through. Well, this is a kind of range where Mark Zelby's going to have to start knocking balls in. Tough as it is, this red. O'Sullivan 
strong on long potting, 8 out of 10, effectively. But that's a terrific one from Selby, a very timely one as well from the world number one. He's been in this position before many times. When he won his first ranking title, Mark Selby, 2008 Welsh Open, he was 8-5 down to O'Sullivan in the final, 1-9-8. Six. So this is where the comeback begins. Seven. Usually when the player gets back into it, if it does get level again, the pressure Four. starts to mount once more. There's only one 50. frame in the whole match where the person losing the frame has scored any points. That was the first frame. All the rest have been one to nil. So whoever's won the frames has dominated them completely. 22. So he'll be hoping that pattern can continue here. 23. 30. 31. 38. 39. Now, for once, he's not quite perfect on this. 46. Little nudge on the other red, I think, required here. 46. Done well there. 46. Uh, start signs that he's just queuing up. A little bit better now, not that he's ever been that bad. Just failed to match O'Sullivan with his amazing scoring power. 53. Great standard. 54. As Dave has pointed out, Selby not unknown to come back from behind against matches, especially O'Sullivan. 59. Sixth. Now, just looking to see, I think, if the left red will go past the rest of the bunch to the right corner. Well, obviously not in the end, is what he felt. And that's fine. <laughs> and he needs a red. 58. So, it looks like the pattern's continuing. O'Sullivan knows only too well how Mark Selby often comes alive on the brink of defeat. 71. 72. Not this man, though. He's missed that black, which is a surprise, but he's done enough with that break of 72 to pull one back. His head's, but he's not badly on the blue. Obviously, the black's got to be got into play, but he's in first, crucially. Not bad. Slightly over here, I suppose. This is a bit of a struggle to get to. He's really stretching on this. Didn't look comfortable to it at any point. Yeah. Ronell Sullivan, six. One. Six. And he's an angle on a colour to get these reds open. Seven. That looks perfect. Oh, lucky he will just slithered off the side of the bunch there. Eleven. Mark Selby, 11. 
and it's quite dangerous or attacking, whichever way you want to look at it, to play that shot. He's left what could be a big pocket up there. And to the left corner, the top red. It's not a certainty, but he's got another pocket directly off the red near the pocket here. One. Certainly played it well and goes into the bunch here. The problem is the pink and black are out of play somewhat. Wow. <laughs> Goodness me. There were Reds heading towards all pockets there. It was the one in the middle that did for him in the end. Well, he's a bit further away from this Six. red than he would have wanted to be. Very sweetly struck, though. It'd be Seven. tough to win the frame here, but you wouldn't put it beyond him the way that he's such a creative player. Mm. No, he's on the thin one, that's all. Don't know if he's on Twelve. the one he's very close to. This is proving to be a very awkward little break to make. Again, the cue ball just drifts a fraction too far. The table has been recovered overnight. It's a good shot. He's getting a huge cheer. I think the crowd are. 16. While they're enjoying this match, I think O'Sullivan is their man of the two. You oohs and ahs as the white travel towards that pocket. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Well, this has gone miles too far. That is not where he wanted to be. Twenty-five. The right-hand red of the two seems to go. He could still cut it back in, but it's. Obviously, very difficult from where he is. Terrific. That really is a special shot. He didn't want the break to end. He had a safety shot on. And after all that, he misses that blue. Slight deceleration. Solomon, That's why he overcut it, and so he'll be out of his chair very quickly. That's a clever shot because One. he feels that the pink can be potted directly off the red here. Now, Solomon will be pretty disappointed more than. A little bit, I should think, the way that that ended. Seven. Just didn't hit that blue with any real authority for once. So still the problem of that safe red on the side cushion. Eight. Fourteen. Fifteen. I don't know if he's interested in the double, but it looks the red's a bit close to the cushion for that. He could possibly do it. Might be looking to get first good safety shot in. Take some doing that cannon. I think he played the cannon but it'll take really, really difficult shot. That's you want. Well it's a tight frame and there haven't been too many of those. Frame one was the closest, all the rest, as Dave was saying, have been one to nil by either player. Selby. Well by his high standards that was not a particularly good shot at all to put the pink safe. Debate why they all need it at the end of this, but it's just not of solving any trouble here. Right. 
He got so close to it, he needs some help with the blue. And he's got it, and he knows it. That could well have been match over had he left that on. I think he played it pretty well, O'Sullivan, there. Well, we've had a lot of breaks today, but this uh, close frame now is thrilling. Good shot from Selby, a little tap on the table from O'Sullivan. Four points in it. Great touch. Yeah, it's been quick, as you can see. Well, I'm not sure Ronnie would have turned that one down, but I understand that he felt that one mistake could have been end of match. might not be the worst thing well, obviously seven, he's got a long red he's shaping up to get an angle on the black if he knocks this in but the pot is everything here One. very cleanly done Good. He's going to need down to the blue to force a decider. Thirty. So this Seven. blue then, and it looks like we're going all the way to one more frame. Mark Selby has kept his head, stayed on his feet while all the heavy hitting, all the punches were thrown. In it goes. It's some effort, I tell you, to get to five each the way O'Sullivan was playing. But he's done it, and there'll be one more frame to decide who's going into the final. Mark Selby, as so often before, fighting a great rearguard action. Mark Selby, five. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. One more frame, then. The deciding frame. Little smile between the players. It's been some battle, a great, great match, this, between two great, great players. Ronnie O'Sullivan led 5-3. Mark Selby has fought back. It's five all. It's all on this. O'Sullivan is ahead on all the stats, but Mark Selby's got one of the biggest hearts in the game and he's just stayed on his feet, as I said. As you see, the, the total points, I mean, O'Sullivan well over 200 in front. Well, that should be pretty regulation off the left cushion into the bunch. Very close to the red, but it does pot. Oh, it did. It's not in. Yes, and uh, for a while it looked like the keyboard was going to head behind the yellow there on that red, but it hasn't. The point is, despite being hammered for a couple of frames, Selby didn't lose heart. That's the thing. He just doesn't go away. One. 
It's a very good chance. Six. Seven. Thirty. Forty. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty seven. There might be a red in the middle of the bunch that goes to the right corner, but of course he's got the other two, which go in that pocket as well, if he can screw up the table. Forty-six. Well, the ready took has actually opened up two or three other reds as well. Wow. That has come from nowhere. Mark Selby, 46. And that will hurt him. Too much thinking about the next red, forgot the obvious, the pot. Well, if he loses now, he'll remember that for a long, long time, that black. Is O'Sullivan still geared up? One. Was he thinking about the defeat that seemed to be coming his way? It seemed hard to think that Selby was going to break down when he did. He hadn't looked like missing in that break. It's going to be tough to take if he does lose now. Six. Well, that's not a very good shot from O'Sullivan. Little tricky one here. He will be low the line of the black. Played it really well. Just the kind of shot that can you can miss if you're really struggling. Are you really under some sort of extra pressure as he is? Well, it's been a great match, this isn't it? But this twist. Fifty. I didn't really see coming when. Selby got in first. Might yet be other twists. I'm already looking at the yellow later on. Hitting on it would not be straightforward with the brown covering it to his own pocket. 23. Third. There was a loud noise there in the arena. It didn't affect O'Sullivan. I think someone dropped something or something. 37. Well, he's a bit little straight on this. Wow, that was, he was trying to make an angle there that just did not exist. He was determined to play that shot, even though if he'd looked at it, to swing that up for the red, it's just a bit too straight.
Well, he's a little in between. I think he played on the red in the middle, but he's... He wouldn't know which pocket to play in now, middle or down into the top right. Seven. Playing it in the middle takes him down potentially towards playing the brown, which could help him. He's a bit congested, that yellow, brown and black all in a line. We'll give him something to think about. Well, you heard someone shout out, no, OK, he's got the seven. snooker. That's an outrageous fluke. Hit the knuckle of the middle pocket. Well, it, it is now one of those deciders, so Sullivan, happy to be back at the table, but finds himself snookered. This is not nice to hit. Foul and a miss. Mark Selby, seven. Free ball. And what do you do here? I mean, you can have it put back. It's not a nice snooker to try and hit. Try and be a bit clever here, but it was enough trouble, O'Sullivan, behind the, the ball he was snookered on. Has to be the right decision, I think, from Selby. Okay. Yeah, there's Micah, yeah. a fine referee in her own right from Germany. It's just a horrible snooker. The red is just too much in the middle of the table to be easy to hit. I'm not sure it's on. Foul. Oh, no miss. I think there's an argument here that the pink is in the way of the natural three cushion angle. Wow, that was tight. Well, all Foul. you can say is he seems to have the line. Is it a free ball? Four. He seems to be learning this angle. It's very, very tight. It's close to the pocket. Oh, my word, it's gone in. Can you believe it? Words found me. What a thing to happen. What a match. What a decider. What a sport. Yeah, and this, this goes in and he's on the yellow. Then all of a sudden... It looks like he'll be favourite. Needs to pot it. Yeah, he needed that. Well, I think all bets are off now as to what's going to happen next, but he's given himself a chance. Five. Yes, he's not quite straight enough on this. He's looking at going all around the table. Well, this is a masterful shot. This really is absolute dynamite. What a touch. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, he was unlucky to be snookered. Obviously, he was lucky to fluke the red, but he's just been one of those deciders, hasn't it? Well, he's walked around the table, I think, just to compose himself. He knows the brown goes. He knows where he wants to be. He just doesn't want to rush into any shots. Ten. Four balls left, O'Sullivan needs them all. Well, 14. the way this match has ended is quite something. Pink and black to reach the final. Right. Well, just anywhere straightish. Screw the cue ball past the middle. Goodness me, he's almost straight on this. It's a brave way of playing it under pressure. 25. A memorable match, this. High quality, dramatic. A truly unbelievable finish. And the match. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan reaches the final here in Belfast as the players conduct their own post-mortem. He would have felt bad, I'm sure, about Fluke in the red. That's what he's like. But he made the clearance under pressure. Ronnie O'Sullivan has finally seen off Mark Selby 6-5 on the final black.